What are we even doing out here? Building. What are we building? Blackness table of course. Of course. All right, little lady. No, this isn't it. We're just getting started. Started? Yeah, we haven't even begun yet. Are you ready to get going? Today is day day seven already out here on the Plasma Table build. A couple of those have been half days, uh, but I'm just counting it out. Keep it honest here. Uh, full day, half day, it's still a day. Six days in and got the lower portion of the table yeah. fabricated, welded out, painted, and the water bed is about three quarters of the way done. The only thing really left to do is to weld in the slats and the, well actually the supports for the slats and lay all the slats in there. The little ball valve that I bought is not the right thing uh, for yeah. sealing up this water bed. So I got another one ordered on Amazon. It should be here. Uh, in a minute. Hopefully, in a minute. Hopefully by Monday. They were gonna finish the water bed. Hopefully get these feet knocked out with some adjustable uh, bolts and. And I gotta get um make your own lip gloss for Christmas, I think. Make your own lip gloss for Christmas? Yeah. I think you're kind of shooting the gun, little lady. What about your birthday? I'm going to get minion stuff. Oh, minion stuff for your birthday? Yeah. You sound pretty sure about that. I'm You are? Okay. Once we take care of the minion stuff and the maker of lip gloss, yeah. then we will, oh yeah, weld the piece of channel on here for the cable track support. Yep. And I really want to get going on that can trip. I've been talking about it for a few days now. I feel like it should be going together by now and not super happy that it's not but only one way to make that happen and that's to spend some more time out here and get all this other stuff knocked out so let's get cruising we got lots of work to do angle is now welded in here if you can tell I wasn't really super careful about putting these in here um, it's not really a huge deal whether these go in perfect or not so I just banged it out and uh, got it over with so there's like a little bit of a wobble up and down and some of this stuff uh, but it'll hold the slats and um, everything else around it should be fine uh, I'm not really that worried about uh, height here on the water table exactly because I have ohmic sensing and uh, a lot of uh, motion for the z-axis to move up and down and control the torch height so uh, a little bit of up and down shouldn't be a big deal because I'm really nice and square and the machine should compensate for that so uh, let's start loading up these slats and see how this thing looks yeah
it up here for the next step. I got a few things that I already cut out. This is gonna end up being the uh, adjusting feet that I can level the table out with. And these uh, are gonna mount something like this. These are gonna be welded onto the tubes that are the feet. Then I'll weld that nut on either side and uh, wind up grinding flat spots on each side of this. That way we can grab it with a crescent wrench. And that's gonna be my little TC bolt leveling feet. One problem down. Uh, next thing I cut out is what's gonna end up being these kind of emergency backstops that go here on the rail. Got my racing stripe installed. Looks pretty good, I think. And uh, these are gonna sit right here and cap this end off. That way the uh, gantry can't roll all the way off the end of here. So those will sit about like that. And last but not least, um, when I left off, I was short these slats. So we needed 41, I think I had 36, five more to do. So how I'm gonna do those is I got some of the leftover long pieces and uh, I cut one side down and I put long side in, line up the short side and weld them together. And we made ourselves the rest of the slats that we need. I don't need to go to the store. All I gotta do is get these suckers welded out and I've made myself a new part, which is one of my favorite things about metal. Unlike wood, if you mess something up with metal, you can just weld some more metal onto it. Kind of a hack, but you know, it's gonna get this thing done and save me a trip. So, fuck it, I'm doing it. It never fails. As soon as I'm on the last weld here, I run out of wire. So thank goodness I have uh, another welding machine that runs off the same wire here in the shop and it's got a half roll in it. So instead of running off to the store and grab another roll, I just went ahead and stole that one from the other welder and uh, got it loaded up. So let's get back to welding, yeah? <music> the details out on this table right now I'm so happy um, all this little stuff just really adds up and I never really account for it in my time and planning phase but I need to start spending a little bit more time and paying more attention to this little piddly stuff because it does add up the last little miscellaneous deal I'm gonna do right now uh, I'm not gonna put the caps on until I get the gantry up there but I have them cut out to sit right up there um, this big piece of channel right here I think it's almost seven pounds a foot that's just heavier than I'd, I'd really like to tack up here by myself. It goes uh, right here on this tube is where it mounts up. And as you can see, I stopped here for a second to show you guys a little trick. If you're working out here in the shop by yourself, I just clamped two pieces of flat stock metal on here. And that way that channel can just sit right on top of here, right here, and again right here. way easier than resting that thing around. So now I'm free to do some fit up stuff. Looks like got a little gap in here. I think it's coming from this weld. So I can go ahead and peel this off, hit that with a grinder real quick, and then put it right back on there. No harm, no foul. Work smarter, not harder, yeah? I 
want you guys to check something out here. This is a first for me since I've been in this shop. I am no longer working off of the floor. I can't believe it. I've got the water bed now, which is gonna be my little impromptu welding station for right now until I can build a proper welding table. Channels on, the feeder on, all the little piddly stuff is done. Ready to move on to the next step. And I've been baiting myself with this now for a few days because this is really what I wanted to play with is this gantry. And uh, I haven't been letting myself mess with it. Forcing myself to finish up this other stuff on the table, but the day has finally arrived. This is what we're looking like right here. I've got a bunch of the pieces all laid out. Yeah, let's go over some of the prints and kind of what materials and tools and whatnot we're gonna to need to do this portion of the build. Then let's get cracking into it. I mean, what are we doing out here anyways, right? Ultimately, this is what we're looking for is uh, we need these two side assemblies welded together here. And we need this uh, crossbar that goes across uh, and at the bar, just in case that wasn't obvious. Anyways, then uh, there's this V-rail assembly that gets bolted on there a lot like the cold rolled steel um, with all the bolts in it. Also, what you can't see back here is there's a little tube that gets welded along the back side here. And I'm thinking that's to keep this rigid this way as it travels up and down the gantry. There's a little simplified view. So let's, let's step back here for a minute and look at this strip down and kind of plan what we're gonna do here. So these are the assemblies that I have here laid out on the table is these six pieces become these two right and left assemblies. Right here you can tell these little lines that he's got along the edges here, that's his weld detail. He's saying there's a bracket that goes on one side only. He's calling out we have to tap the holes 5 16 by 18 thread per inch. And he also shows this three by three tube coming in the top here. And that tube hiding around back that I was talking about is this guy right here. And that's a one by three inch tubing that I ended up actually using for the center piece right here. But before I did that, I went ahead and cut out what I needed um, that first night where we cut a bunch of uh, material out. So let's go ahead and get these two fit up and tacked. And then we will start working on this crossbar in here and possibly even mock these up on the table and see what it looks like. Let's get cruising on to the next step. All right, that was pretty quick getting these tacked together. I'm not welding them out yet because uh, as you weld things out, there's a lot of tendency for stuff to start warping and I really don't want to have this thing warp out of square with everything else so I'm gonna be really meticulous and thoughtful about how I weld this thing together and I haven't quite figured that out yet most likely I'll end up finishing the assembly like 99% getting it mounted up on the rails and then I can hold square on everything while I uh, weld it out or at least get some more tacks on it so it won't move when I do weld it out but um, next step here is you actually have to tap these holes these four and then these two you only have to tap on one side so I've already tapped this side right here and go ahead and tap these right here on this side as well uh, the cool thing about this kit is I didn't even have to uh, drill these out they were already cut to the right size which is nice because I don't even have the right size drill bit for a 5 16 tap um, it calls for an F size drill bit, which I've never heard of a letter size drill bit until I got into taps and dies. And F, if I'm not mistaken, is a couple thousandths larger than a quarter of an inch. So if you're in a pinch, you can use a quarter inch drill bit and it'll just be barely undersized for the hole and uh, as long as the material is not too thick or hard um, you should be able to knock out the extra couple thousands that you need with the tap. So the next step is to mount these 
ball bearings onto the scantry assembly here. And that's actually what's going to ride on this uh, cold rolled steel. And that's good. Let's get these put together and see if we can get them rolling on the plasma table tonight. Woo! shop we've been going since last Saturday night I started cutting out the pieces and this is Friday night here in the shop so that's been a full seven days and I think we made some really good progress here uh, got all the pieces cut out lower table all welded out and assembled got the water bed almost buttoned up today still got to wait for the bulkhead ball valve so I can drain it and fill it up without making a mess in my shop again like I already did figured out this first one. We put some feet on today and I'm not real happy with them. I think some uh, berries got into the threads of the nut and so they're having a really hard time uh, threading in and out and uh, leveling this table like I wanted them to. So I'm gonna have to come up with another design there but you know you win some you lose some. What can you do? I'm not an engineer just an iron worker. Oh yeah I almost forgot. We also started on the gantry today which I've been waiting for for Anyways, it feels like that. That's what I've been waiting to get to. That's really the business end of this plasma table. That's what moves and carries the torch. That's the real component that I've been spending so much time making a base for. So with that said, I figured I'd let you guys take the first ride on the gantry. Pretty smooth, right? You can hear it shattering on something over there. Could be some weld berries or something, but either way, this is pretty cool, guys. So I can still feel a lot of wobble in here. There's barely two little baby tacks holding it together on either side. So I don't really want to start uh, wanging on it, but uh, probably, you guys see some of that slop in there? all these possibilities now. To say I'm pleased with myself is a bit of an understatement because damn, I'm fucking excited! Woo! Tomorrow, I'm gonna get cracking right back out here and figure out the rest of this gantry because um, man, we're getting dangerously close to hooking up some motors and watching this thing move under its own power, which will be pretty incredible. So anyway, stay tuned guys, subscribe to my channel Watch the next video because uh, there's more to come for this build thread. And uh, check out my website, maker-table.com. I'm on Facebook, Instagram. I love the gram. Yeah, follow along. Yeah, check out my shit.